Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of The Feels, my reaction series. And today, we're going to be taking a look at what seems to be the official full roster leak of Street Fighter VI. Now, yesterday I did a reaction to the trailer that they released, um, I, I believe like a day or so ago. And um, I look online and, you know... I'm noticing that they have a full roster leak and considering what we've seen in the trailer with what the leak has for the full roster looks to be pretty accurate so with that being said man we definitely gotta gotta take a look at this so let me shrink this down you know the vibes let me just shrink this down because I'm not important right now we gotta take a look at the at the roster leak Come on, now. I'm gonna shrink this down to as much as possible there we go so this is the full roster so the roster consists of the original eight characters from Street Fighter 2 World Warriors. Then we have some characters from Street Fighter 4 making a return, um, as well as some characters that made in, that you know were pretty notable in Street Fighter 5. And we have let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new characters. We have seven new characters. So a couple of which we seen in the trailer. Um, one I was actually worried about because we, you know, it seemed like Chun Li was training her, and and, and they didn't give a name <clears throat> in the trailer. <clears throat> so with that being said, I actually want to let me see if I can expand this picture, if it's possible to expand the picture. Okay, because I actually want to go through each of these characters, like little by little so <clears throat> might look a little crazy so first up we got Ryu Ken Zangief who looks like he's in official wrestling gear and by the way the artwork is kind of fitting in with that theme of Street Fighter 6 going back to the streets apparently it's given that feel that third strike gave so the artwork look, kind of looks like it's going back to that. So Ryu Ken, Zangief, um, what do you, he, he looks to be in some traditional or in like some modern wrestling gear. Uh, we have Dalsum, who got a full on beard now. <clears throat> or oh, his beard looks more defined. He got rid of the head wrap, he's just showing that baldy off. Then there's E Honda, Blanca, he got the bandana around the neck. You know, of course, he still got his chains. You got Guile, look like he's out and about on the streets. Chung Li, looking fine as always. Cami, look like she fresh from the gym with a with a um with a leather jacket on. And next up, we got returning DJ. We got DJ returning. Let's see if I can expand this picture some more. So I want to see if I can get like a better look at some of these characters. There we go. So we got DJ. I ain't gonna lie, like for a second there, I thought he had like a gas mask on. But DJ is apparently making a, a comeback. Rashid, I know somebody's gonna hate that. <laughs> I know some people were asking so much for Rashid not to make a return. But Rashid, he's officially back. Considering he was a part of, of the main story, I would assume that they would bring him back. Um, Rashid, he's apparently making a return. Jury, she's back in there. Uh, Ed, which I'm not surprised again, because he had one of the stories that actually fit into what they were going to do in the next game. You know, him and he had like a team, you know, with Falk, uh, the big tall guy with like the, the clown spikes and the big old beard connecting and uh the big ape baba louis or something like that. i'm sorry i can't remember the name <laughs> but yeah he had a team with him so i'm assuming that they're gonna bring them in later on as dlc maybe um then there's akuma looking badass as usual luke of course who was revealed during the first trailer and then we're going on to the new characters first up we got marissa who looks to be like an mma fighter Jamie, who was who was a character that they revealed in the trailer, he seems to be using like the drunken fist. 
Um, then we have Mimi, who's another character. Looks like she's either doing jujitsu or or something or rather. Then we got the other characters. We got Lily, who I'm assuming was the character that maybe Chung Lee was training. I don't know, cause you don't see her in the on the roster at all. But this is the closest character that looks to, that looks like her. But she, she seems to be Native American. I wonder if she's uh, either Native American or she's from like maybe Kenya, maybe, or maybe she's Aztec or like Incan or something like that. Uh, just looking at, at the traditional gear, that's the, that's the vibe that it's giving me. But I see the feather, so I'm assuming that she's Native American. Um, cause my cause just that first glance, I was finna say. Is she related to uh, uh, Elena or something like that? I don't know. So next up, we got JP, who seems to be the boss character. I mean, just based on how he's standing. Uh, we got Kimberly, um, who probably is taking the place of Karin. Then we got AKI, or Aki, who seems to be... I mean, from what it seems, a genetically enhanced fighter. And you know how to, how Street Fighter does it. But let me uh, shrink this back down. So, these are the characters that are supposedly confirmed to make a return to Street Fighter 6. The characters that are going to be in Street Fighter 6. Now, I am happy with this roster. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, some people are going to be mad with Rashid. You got to understand that initial, like the first main story, well, like the main story of Street Fighter V involved Rashid. So it kind of fit. It's, it's only fitting that he would make a return in the, uh, in the, in six. It only makes sense. And he makes sense as well because, again, this is a character that, has he had a uh, an arcade ending that kind of fit in with what they were going to go for in in, in a future uh, game? So him being a Street Fighter Six only makes sense as well. Um, the original eight don't really or like let's see the, the original eight characters was one two three four five six seven eight nine excuse me. Um, yeah, the original eight don't uh, don't surprise me. I mean, they're going back to the streets. That seems to be the the, the theme for Street Fighter Six, so it only makes sense that they go with the initial roster from the original uh, with from the original uh, uh, Street Fighter Two game. Cami, of course, um she was in like another iteration she, she wasn't in the initial street fighter 2 uh dj i'm happy dj making a return because he was one of the characters that a lot of people wanted to see uh in in street fighter 5 but you know i guess it wasn't enough support to put him in there so they didn't bring him as a dlc but i'm glad to see that he's supposedly making a return in six um jury happy to see that she's in there akuma of course uh luke but Luke, he, he wasn't ever like a Street Fighter Five character. He was like a he was like a preview Sh Street Fighter Six character. That's the best way to describe him. He was a Street Fighter Six character that they just put in Street Fighter Five because that's basically who they were gonna uh, who's who's gonna have all the attention on him anyway. But I like what they uh, what they did. And Jamie, he Jamie is one of the characters that actually gets me excited, only because I, any character that either fights with like a Kempo Kane style or like a, a bow staff or maybe like a spear, or, or even characters like Jamie who's using like the Drunken Fist, those characters always get me excited for like any type of fighting game. So I'm definitely going to be trying Jamie out for sure. Uh, Mimi kind of has me interested and Lily does as well. I'm interested in seeing what part JP has in this because he seems to be the boss character in this as well as Aki. Um, now, of course, there's certain characters that we don't see. Uh, first off, there is no Karin. Karin is not making a return. 
Corrin is not in the game. So she seems to... I mean, of course, there's DLC later on. Of course, that's just a gimme. But in, in the initial roster, it looks like she's not going to be returning. Uh, who else isn't going to be... I don't see Balrog. There's no Bison. I don't see any Vega. I don't see... I don't see no Sagat. So I'm, I'm wondering if one of these other characters is, is going to be a, a fighting style that kind of mimics what those characters did. Maybe Aki is going to be the next Vega, quote unquote. I don't know. Or have a, a similar fighting style towards his. Um, maybe Mimi and... Or Mar with Marissa, she kind of reminds me of Abel from Street Fighter 4. So maybe that's her, maybe that's going to be like her fighting style. Uh, Mimi, she's definitely, her gi, her outfit has me wondering what type of fighting style she's going to use. So that's where the interest from that comes. Um, it looks like jujitsu maybe. Uh, but who knows? Um, but other than that, man, I'm I'm just interested in seeing the game. Now, the combat of Street Fighter Six, just based on what they showed in the trailer, seems to be dumbed down, or like they try to simplify it. So, but they have a universal parry system, so that's kind of, that kind of gets me excited. But other than that, man, this is the roster leak. So tell me, so you guys tell me what you think. What you think about the roster? Uh, are, are you excited for the characters? Which which one of the new characters kind of gets you excited the most? Um, the return of DJ and Rashid and Ed. Um, how do y'all feel about that? And how do you feel about none of the original Shadowloo making the making a return? As, you know, Birdie's not in there. Of, of course, like there's no G. Um, you know, uh, Seth, he's not in there. Uh, again, this could be DLC later on down the line. Who knows? But for the initial roster, it looks like they're not coming back. Um, it, of course, it's certain characters that you knew weren't going to make it make it to the, into the next game. But to see what we have, I'm actually happy with this. I'm actually very happy with this. So my only gripe is that I hope they don't have any characters that play like Fong. That's it. Like we don't need no more Fongs in in six. I think Fong was uh, an experiment, and it failed. You know, I think certain people played good with him, but the character just he didn't feel right. And of course, you don't see Falk either. But I'm assuming that since Ed is in the game, she's going to make it into the game later on down the line. Hopefully, she feels more complete than what she did in six. Because even now, Falk just feels like an incomplete character. So. So yeah, but the main character I'm kind of excited about is DJ because he was one of the characters I mained in in four. But um, absolutely, man, Th this is a good roster. I'm excited for the for the seven new characters. Can't wait to see what they play like, and um, hopefully we get like a beta soon with some of the new characters available that we can just get a feel of the game and see what we uh, getting into. So with that being said, man, thanks for watching. Peace and uh. The link to this is actually going to be in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here.